So here we are at the Lost Lakes in uh, Oregon, and I'm here with the brand new 2017 All Star. Super stoked with this board. It's 14 by 23 as of last year, and um, I'll just go through a couple of the small changes that Starboard's made. So obviously at the back here we have the kick pad, so you know where the end of the board is. It's always useful. And then over here we have the deck pad, and it's actually sunken into the actual deck so that's really cool and it it's super stable super soft it's real nice it's actually very comfortable like that and i don't know if you guys could tell the difference between 2016 and 2017 all star but we have heaps more volume in the nose here and that's so much better because the nose used to bury a little bit in the uh 2016 i'd notice especially with my weight being around 80 kilos but this time it never goes underwater it's super super buoyant and um it's not actually really any heavier, so they've really done a good job with that. Um, underneath, I'll give you a quick look underneath. Oh, right here. We have a couple new chimes and a bit, bit of a new shape happening, so they've extended the concave in the nose all the way to the back of the board and that really helps with the water line and it keeps it moving and you know it keeps going fast and obviously we have that uh the release the same as last year we have that concave going through this year they've also added a couple new chimes and that that's also coming out on the on the new 2017 sprint as well but it just you know helps with stability and um just so it feels so good in the water i can't believe how well this board goes so look forward to this board coming out soon. I believe the uh, official starboard release date was a couple days ago. Um, so yeah, that's the 2017 starboard all-star.